Hello everyone and welcome back to Half-Life. So the test chamber is in ruins because the scientists were overworking their equipment to get a better reading of the specimen. Thanks a lot, Administrator. But anyway, that caused a resonance cascade, meaning a portal has been opened up between our world and an alien world. Which is terrifying and a lot to take in, but I'm just glad to be alive. So we better get out of here. We'll crouch through these airlock doors, and there's a dead scientist here. So, we'll try to get through this door, but it's locked. So, we'll use the retinal scanner. And there we go. So there's a scientist trying to revive the security guard here, and a dead scientist over here. So we'll go on. Yeah, watch out for that falling computer wall. And we'll go over this debris, through this door, and we'll use the elevator. And there's those two scientists we saw in the last part. I never thought I'd see a resonance cascade, let alone create one. Gordon, you're alive. Thank God for that hazard suit. I'm afraid to move him and all our phones are out. Please, get to the surface as soon as you can and let someone know we're stranded down here. You'll need me to activate the retinal scanners. I'm sure the rest of the science team will gladly help you. Well, okay then. So that's our main goal in this game so far, is to get to the surface. So we'll get Eli Vance here to follow us. And what's this? That is a head crab, a four-legged, very small alien creature that'll attempt to pounce at you and connect with your head, I guess I could say. So yeah, that's disgusting. And there's another one there. So we'll get Eli Vance here to use the retinal scanners to open this door. Thank you, Mr. Vance. And we'll go on. Whoa. So there are some electrical surges shooting in from the test chamber. So, I'll wait for the first one to come back. And time my run through. And there we go. So we'll go through this hallway. And a head crab teleported in, so I just like to strafe around him. Anyway, so we'll go through these doors. And there's a laser shooting out of here. Destroying all these computer walls. So we'll just duck under this one. And another laser shot out. Now this one has a specific pattern, so when it gets to its highest point, I just run under it. And it split this poor security guard in half. Poor guy. But yeah. So we'll try to get through these doors, but they're locked. So, we'll grab this. Gordon Freeman's most iconic weapon. The crowbar. And we'll smash through the grass. <laughs> the grass. The glass, I meant to say. And we'll use the elevator. Well, I guess we won't be using the elevator. So we'll smash through this glass, and we'll go down this ladder. And there are bones and body parts and blood down here. Ugh. And an armor battery. So a neat little reward for coming down here, I guess. And we'll go back up the ladder. And we'll go up this maintenance, maintenance access ladder. And jump down here. Whoa. So there's a, a security guard fighting these things. Are they wearing science team uniforms? They are wearing science team uniforms. They're bloody, green and mutated, with elongated fingers. 
Their entire midsection is just torn open with a broken rib cage, and on top of its head is a head crab. Yep, that's what a head crab does to somebody when it jumps on top of their head. It takes control of their body through their central nervous system, through their brain. And that's what it did to, to these two scientists here. So, ugh. And you can even see the skull of the host poking through because it's pinched on their heads so tight. So that's terrifying. And we'll go on. And there's a head crab on top of the scientist's head here. And two zombies. Now we don't have a gun to take care of these guys, so I use what I call the crowbar method. You just go up, hit them, back up, and go back and hit them again. And that one's dead, so we'll use the crowbar method again on this guy. And they're both dead, so we'll go down this hallway. Then we'll go down to the no smoking area. In this little room here. And you can even see that the microwave casserole is still being cooked even though the microwave is exploded. <laughs> Which is kind of funny to me. But then we'll go back down to the locker room. Where there's a dead scientist. And the Guthrie locker is open. Hmm. And we have some pistol clips. We don't have a pistol yet, but we'll get some we'll get one soon. And we'll go in the Freeman locker, where we have two more armor batteries. Power, Which is nice. So then we'll go out of this locker room because there's nothing really else to do in there. And we'll go down this hallway. And we can't get in through that door, so we'll go back this way. This vent is open, but first I'm going to try to get through these airlock doors. They're locked, but maybe if we... Yes! Now we can escape! Good idea, scientist. We'll use the transit system to get out of here. I'll come with you and... I guess we won't be using the transit system. And there's a pistol clip here. Well, we can't escape through there, so we'll have to go back in the building. And we'll go through this vent. And this fallen computer wall killed a head crab for us. So we'll go on these slanted computer walls. And in here, there's a scientist fighting a head crab. Yes, he won. Good job, scient- oh. Never mind. And we can't even get in to save him because this is bulletproof glass and this door is jammed. So we'll go in here. And there's that scientist we saw on his laptop. And he's being changed into a zombie. So we'll put him out of his misery. Poor guy. And we'll go back through here. Wow. Good job, secured. Oh. Never mind. Hey, a gun. And we now have a pistol. So we'll go through here. And we'll press this door. Uh, this button, I mean, to open up the door. And what's that noise? What the heck? Everybody, meet the hound eye. It's like a strange alien dog, but it's only got three legs. It has a beak. It has multiple eyes with one big pink eyelid. It's yellow, I don't know if I already mentioned that. And it's got multiple blue slits in its back, and it shoots sonic charges at you. By the way, these are the cutest and sweetest and least harmful guys in the entire alien species that we're going to see in this game. 
I even read on the wiki, or wiki, I don't know if this is true, but these guys aren't even trying to be mean, they just want to play, but their sonic charges really do hurt. But anyway, we'll go this way and... You are from the Anomalous Materials Lab, yes, I recognize you. Who is responsible for this mess? A failure of this magnitude is extremely improbable. Well, that escalated quickly. But anyway, we'll go down this way. And there's the G-Man. What's he doing up there? He went that way. And oh crap, there are hound eyes over here. And unfortunately, we do have to kill them. Poor guys. But anyway, we'll go on this way. And in here is a head crab, so I just like to get the crowbar out to be ready for him. And then just let him jump at me and strafe around to- Oh, well, I kind of got hurt, but I'm okay. There's a health machine in here, so we'll use it. Anyway, we'll go through this door. And up this ladder is a bunch of head crabs and a zombie and explosives behind them, so we'll shoot the explosives. And they are all dead, so that's good. And there's where the G-Man went. Maybe he knows what to do about this whole th uh, Where did he go? That's strange. And there's a zombie eating a scientist over here. And... You could lure him over to this explosive and then shoot it from over here, but you'll take damage if you do that, so I'm just going to use the crowbar method on him. And he's dead. Anyway, maybe the G-Man is in here. No, he's not. That's strange, but I do want to get in here. So we'll go down here. And there's a scientist. Hello, Mr. Scientist. Lead the way. Okay, then. So I'll get him to follow me. So he can use the retinal scanner here to open the door. Thank you, sir. And we'll get some pistol clips. And some grenades. That's the main reason I wanted to come in here, is because of the grenades. And over here is a first aid machine, but I don't really need it. So we'll go on. That is weird about the G-Man, though. Where did he go? I wonder. Anyway, so we'll go on down through here. And... Whoa. Holy crap. Everybody, meet the Vortigaunt. This is one of the things that was surrounding us when we teleported to that one location back in part one. They're a strange humanoid alien, but they have very large feet with claws on them. They have three arms. They have a very strange mouth. They have six red eyes. And they'll try to shoot electric beam or electric surges at you. Which is kind of terrifying. But the weirdest thing about these guys is these green restraint collars and restraint cuffs, I guess you could say. I don't really know what to call them. But anyway, I wonder who put them there. That's weird. But yeah, all the head crabs, hound eyes, and vortigaunts, and all the aliens we'll see in this game come from the same place. So yeah. Anyway, we grab those pistol clips. And behind this barrel is a head crab with the most garbage hitbox of all time, so I just use a grenade on him. And there we go. And if we go over here, there's a scientist in this little garbage bin thing. Which I think is kind of funny. And out of this little vent area... 
is a zombie. So we'll kill him. And down here is a head crab, so... Yeah, you just kind of have to get to a position where you can snipe him off. And we're now down in here. So, we'll go down here where this valve wheel is and turn it. Which will raise the water level. So, we can get up through here. Where this zombie was. And we'll go down through here. Now this section. This is probably the most difficult section in this entire chapter. And that's not to say it's difficult by any means, just everything has the most difficult part to it, and this is that. So up there is a lever that will start this lift to go down, but it'll also open up that little vent area, and head crabs will come out of it. So what I'm going to try to do is use the lever, and then go down here to the lift, and crouch down before the head crabs see me. And in practicing for this playthrough, I've done it pretty successfully, so I'll try to do that again. And if the head crabs do come down, I just get my crowbar out and start swinging whenever they drop. Try to hit them and hopefully kill them. And it looks like I've succeeded because there's no head crabs dropping down, which is nice. So now we just have to wait till this lift gets to the bottom. And it's to the bottom. And there's a hound eye. And unfortunately, we do have to kill him. Because sonic charges really do hurt. And in a few of these boxes, there's some pistol ammo. And over there is a health machine if you need it, but I don't. So we'll go down this authorized personnel only hallway and walk on this catwalk. Whoa! Holy crap. So something teleported in, broke the catwalk, and shot some acidic snot or acidic spit at me. That's very strange. But maybe we can still use the catwalk. No, we can't. So we'll have to jump on these pipes. Oh no! So it is jumping from pipe to pipe, trying not to fall down. And now you could jump up here and then jump down there. But I'm going to take the intended route and go through this vent. And down here are some boxes with armor batteries in them, which is nice. And we now have 100% armor, which is great. And down there is one of the things that fell, is the thing that fell and broke the catwalk. Yeah, that is called a bull squid. It charges at things like a bull, but its face has tentacles on it, which make it look like a squid. And it also shoots acidic snot or something at you. I don't really know what to call it. So we'll just take him out with a pistol. And he's dead. As, and as you can see, he only has two legs and a very large tail. So, this catwalk is also broken. So we'll jump down to this box to break my fall. Yeah, sometimes you'll take damage, but there's a health machine over here. So I'll use that. And you may be wondering what these long tongues are coming from. That is a barnacle. 
Basically, it's an alien creature that hangs from the ceiling and sticks its tongue out. And whatever gets caught in the tongue, it drags up to its mouth and eats them. Which is terrifying. But anyway, we, ca we have to get to the other side of this catwalk. And it's broken. And in between these two ledges is a canal. So, we'll go through the canal. And we'll avoid these barnacles over here. I'll go through here. We'll climb up this ladder. Then we can go out this door. And over here is where we killed the bull squid. And apparently he didn't kill a head crab for me. And you may be wondering why he's killing the head crabs. I mean, they all come from the same place, right? Well, bull squids are like lions. They're very territorial, and they'll just kill anything that comes their way. So yeah. But anyway, we'll go through this door. And we come to this section. So we'll go up these two ladders here. And now this is a very nerve-wracking section for me, at least, because I have a bit of a fear of heights, which also comes to play in video games, so I'm just gonna try to do this without having a panic attack. <laughs> um, so yeah. And we can just walk to this crate. Ah, oh, my feet are tingling. And then we'll just crouch walk on to this ledge here. And then we'll go through this hallway. And we'll climb up this ladder. Go through this hallway, and we come out this door to see that we're on the other side of the broken catwalk, which is great. And if we go back here, there's an elevator, so let's use it. Office complex. And here's our stop. Well, this can't be good. <laughs> 